Hey guys, it's Kath. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, it's going to be a chat with Kath. It's been a while, guys, and I'm so excited right now to just be able to sit down and talk to you guys. If you're new to my channel, Chats with Kath is just where I get to chat with you guys about what God has revealed to me, what I've been learning spiritually, in hopes that it encourages you. So before we get into it, I want to make sure that you guys are subscribed, obviously, so you don't miss a beat. Make sure you press the subscribe button and the little bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video and you're not left behind. Now let's get right into it. So this week I was reflecting on something that happened and as I was praying and journaling about it, I really wanted to share with you guys. So a little background story, I got this awesome, awesome opportunity to work with one of my favorite brands of cosmetics in California a couple weeks ago. But the only problem was that the possible video shoot day would have fallen on or around Avery's birthday. But I wouldn't know until like the week Oh, so I was really wrestling with that because yes, it's a great opportunity and some an opportunity that would provide for my family and obviously like a dream job, right? But there was no way I was not going to celebrate my son's birthday. So in the period of not knowing what day it fell on, I was really talking to God about it. Like, you know, I don't want to idolize this thing and like put money before family or job before family. Like I'll never do that because I would not ever be able to be working on one side of the country knowing that I'm not there celebrating my child's birthday. Like that's just not going to happen, right? Because life is too short. I don't know how many birthdays I'm going to be able to spend with them. So I'm going to take everyone I got. So. I was settled with that and knowing that, you know, if it fell on Avery's birthday day, like it was a no. But um, if it was the day before or the day after, like maybe we could figure something out. And then I was talking to Sean about it. He's like, well, why don't we just all go together? You know, we'll make a birthday trip out of it. And then when we find out what day it is, um, we'll work around that. So I was excited. I was like, yeah, let's do it. But of course, you guys know that Sean is the creative director at our church, so he has to ask for those days off. It's not like when we were both working from home and we were like just doing whatever, you know, he has the most amazing job and he absolutely loves it. So he had to ask our pastor if he could take those days off. Health Cosmetics had booked my flight and I wanted to make sure that we were all on the same flight, right? And like the obviously you're like on the website and it's like this flight is booking fast you know i don't know how valid that is but there was pressure there okay and sean texted his boss to see if he could take those days off and maybe it was about an hour of us waiting to see if that was a possibility and guys i probably asked god like over 10 times in that hour like please god please 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 make a sound please let him say yes like please because i didn't, wouldn't know what to do like they already booked my flight if sean can't come that means i have to take the boys by myself and i can't take the boys by myself because they can't come to set with me so it's like i can't miss avery's birthday like what would be the possibility in that hour of waiting i kind of pictured Kason and avery just like repeating themselves like mommy i'm done mommy i'm done like when they're on the potty right and they need me to come like clean them up mommy 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 i'm done mommy just repeating themselves over and over again mommy mommy and my first thought is always like you don't have to repeat yourself like i hear you right i heard you the first time i'm coming i'll be right there i'm just getting the wipes getting what you need prepared for you be patient and then it hit me like we don't have to keep repeating ourselves with god like he heard us the first time he's getting things prepared working it out for us and working on our patience but i wasn't even patient for that hour guys like come on like he knows what we want and more importantly he knows what we need because he's a good father so i just feel like there's so many times when we come to god and we're asking him for something but we're coming from a place like do you hear me god like are you listening are you there like are you getting this you know but like he heard us the first time in the bible there's a story about Daniel who was praying and mourning and fasting for three weeks and in Daniel 10 12 an angel came to him and said don't be afraid Daniel since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God your request has been heard I have come in answer to your prayer since the first day you began to pray your request has been heard. So that's encouraging to me to know that God hears us and he heard me the first time. In the waiting season for whatever you're praying for, he's preparing everything, preparing us, working on us and making everything fall into place. And in Jeremiah 29, 12 through 13, it says, then you will call on me and come to me and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your hearts. So we know that God listens to us and he's ready to answer us. I think we just need to learn how to be patient in that waiting season. But that's not to be confused with just asking once and knowing that God hears you and that's it. Because we know that there's so much scripture that also tells us to keep asking and circling things in prayer because there's power 
in your prayers. In Luke 11, 9 through 10, it says, and so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. Come on guys, that's so good. But of course we know that that's when our desires and what we're praying for is aligned with his will and his plan. Cause we can go our whole life <laughs> praying for something that is our will, but if it's not God's will, it's not gonna happen. Like I spent my entire pregnancies, both pregnancies praying for a girl when God already knew, like he knew Kason and Avery before they were formed in my womb, you know what I mean? Like he already knew them and had plans for what they were gonna do on this earth. Like my prayer wasn't gonna change that, sorry. It, it really wasn't, you know? So when we come to God with our prayers, we come knowing that he is a great, great father and he knows what we want, but more importantly, he knows what we need. So thinking about that as a parent, we know what our child needs as opposed to what they want. And we know that if they want something that's not gonna be good for them, then we're not gonna give it to them. And God does the same thing for us. Like my kids are always trying to play me, asking for an ice cream sandwich first thing in the morning or pizza all day, every day, and trying to convince me that it's good for them, that it is what they need. Like boy, I know what you need, you know? I know what's good for you, I'm your parent parents and your mother and it's kind of easy for us to understand that in the natural like if your underage child says they want their own car but they don't know how to drive and they don't know how to use it in the proper way no it, it doesn't make sense that I would give you something that you're not ready for that you're not gonna be fully prepared to use it to its fullest capabilities and potential and you're just not gonna be responsible and a good steward of it you know and the Holy Spirit really had to check me on that one because there's a lot of things that I'm not a good steward of in this season of my life now but I'm believing God for more of and I know like I know that he's not going to elevate me or bring me into that area until I take care of this area you know what I mean so yeah he had to check me on that but I digress <laughs> so we need to start seeing God as our parent a parent who foresees everything and who knows what's actually going to be good and beneficial for us and keep us away from what's not in my prayer life most things I'm circling in prayer every single day I'm praying about my children's protection, their healing, and their future every single day. I'm praying that they don't ever have to deal with the strongholds and bondages that we've gone through, the anger, fear, impatience, lust, temptations, that those things will not be their portion, that depression and suicidal thoughts will never enter into their minds. Every single day, I'm covering those areas and prayers because yes, they're not walking in it now. And yes, I don't see it in their lives now, but I know that my prayers are powerful and that my father hears my prayers. So I believe personally that if I'm praying every single day against suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety, fear over their health every single day now, that when they get to an age when they see depression firsthand or they hear and understand suicide, where, where they're in a situation that will bring forth like an unhealthy fear, I believe that my father is so, so, so good and that I've been praying this every single day for 15, 30, 50 years it's not gonna happen. It will not be their portion in Jesus' name. Like that's what I believe and that's how my faith is set up. So yes, it may not be something that's in our life right now or something that we're exposed to now, but I believe that my prayers have power and that my prayers are prophecies over our future. And it's one of the only things that I can do right now that's making an impact for eternity. And it's the biggest legacy that I can leave for my children. So I'm gonna pray those things every day. So yes, God hears us the first time, but that's just to remind you that he's a father who listens and responds to his children but it's our responsibility to circle every area of our life in prayer to prophesy and declare his word and his promises over our lives and I personally feel like when I don't cir constantly circle these things in prayer and that goes for my marriage my business our finances my home my children every area I feel like I'll get wrapped in the motions of daily life and I'll get to a point where I'm handling things on my own, where I'm coming to God, I'm not coming to God about things, where I'm trying to be the CEO of things and that's when I started doing things on my own strength and then that's when things start to fall apart because here's my logic, right? Correct me if I'm wrong or if this isn't biblical because guys, I'm not claiming to know everything but this is just the way that I see things. So I believe that there's power in my prayers, right? So I'm praying these things over my kids every day but if a week goes by and I don't pray over my kids or I'm not asking God to protect them, I believe he's still gonna protect them, right? They're his kids above everything and I've already surrendered them to him, but I also believe that if time goes by and I'm not covering and circling these things in prayer, that leaves little footholds for the enemy to come in like this is his playground because yes, God wants to protect them, but the enemy also wants to destroy them. Because it says in John 10.10 10, that the thief only comes to steal, 
kill, and destroy. So I'm not gonna let the enemy have a foothold. He's not gonna have an open door to plant lies in their minds, fear in their hearts, and seeds of temptation, anger, and pride. No, because I believe my prayers are like a wall and a barrier, like, like the walls around the city that protect the entire city. So I'm as I'm praying that they're bulletproof to every attack of the enemy, I believe that every fiery arrow against them is blocked because of my prayers. Prayer is our weapon. All the enemy wants to do is catch you slipping for a minute, sis. Let him catch you slipping for a minute, not covering things in prayer. So he can just sneak his foot through the door like, oh, there goes her husband. A little temptation and lust. Oh, there they are arguing. A whole lot of pride. Oh, there's her kids. Disobedience and lies. Girl, we know that the enemy is strategic about every attack. So we already having the victory know that we need to have our strategies in place our counter attacks but girl that is a whole nother topic and a whole nother video that we can talk about another day but i just wanted to encourage you guys with this that god hears you he heard you the first time we don't have to keep saying daddy 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 and wondering if he's coming or if he hears us we have that confidence in knowing that he's already working things out for us and it's taken care of but in the waiting season he's working on our patience and our trust in him and we know to be persistent in our prayers we have the faith and trust to know that my father heard me and he's gonna help me but we also know that that trust and faith doesn't mean that we don't ask him and invite him into our lives every single day have those persistent prayers that you are praying every single day over every area of your life so let's end in prayer god i just thank you so much for this video and for this message that you put on my heart and for every single person watching. Help us to become the prayer warriors that you called us to be. Help us to have the faith to know that our prayers are powerful and have an eternal impact. Help us to grow in our prayer lives the day that we feel like we can't find the words, God. Let our simple prayers like, God help me or, or God fix this. Let, let those prayers be enough, God. I pray that you cover every single person watching this video with your divine protection, that your favor and your healing and, and, and your power overflows in their life and that, and that they see your hand in everything. We love you so much, Jesus, and I thank you that, that we don't have to do life without you. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I pray that it encouraged even one of you guys. I gave you some kind of insight. Um, if, Like I said before, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do by clicking the little subscribe button and then make sure you press the little bell button so you're notified whenever I post a new video and that you don't miss a beat because I post videos about beauty, family, fashion, and a whole lot of Jesus. So I hope you guys can stay tuned. All right, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Be blessed.